And here is our president, John F. Kennedy, with word on our struggles in the Cold War against Russia. My fellow Americans, we are in a state of standoff against the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union and their communism is standing in the way of our freedom and capitalism. Our government is working day and night to contain this threatening force. We are stopping the Soviet expansion plans that are trying to take away our liberty. The Soviet way of life has conflicted with ours for the past decade. It is to our advantage to fight for our rights and freedom, something that the Soviets do not have. Thank you. As I hand my information over to Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara. The Soviets' communism tried to infiltrate our nation during the Red Scare, but the U.S. government rooted the communism out of our great country. We will not fail to keep it out once again as we take our stance in the world. We used containment during the Berlin Airlift to save our anti-communists in West Berlin as we fooled Russian blockade plans. We used containment in South Korea to keep communist forces from expanding. This power in our military forces worked in our favor. We used containment when our own country was in danger of a nuclear war with Cuba, forcing the Soviets to remove the missiles. Containment saved our own people. Now, the Secretary of State would like to say some words. When the Soviets blockaded East Berlin, an anti-communist area, America could not be held back. Despite Soviet efforts, American forces provided the people of Berlin with food and supplies containing such evil efforts of the Russians and causing them to retreat. When communist North Korea attempted to overtake anti-communist South Korea, the United States stepped in quickly, firmly planting our forces in protection and containment against the evils of communism and ensuring safety for the South Koreans against communist attacks. Finally, when the United States was itself threatened by medium-range missile launchers secretly shipped to communist Cuba right off of our southern coasts, the U.S. quarantined the island, doing everything in its power to serve and protect the American people in danger from the Soviet Union forces that tried and failed to infiltrate America's free cities. Fellow citizens of the United States, the answer to the struggle against communism is firm and vigilant containment, and as a result, complete removal to keep our country and our world safe and free. As American citizens, it is our duty set by our forefathers to protect not only ourselves, but any who stand with us against the evils of the past, present, and future. This struggle against communism is only one example of the struggles this country has faced and will face, and as the United States of America, we stand proudly for freedom, not just now in the presence of our current battles, but also for the future America, which we define in our patriotism and perseverance.